Welcome to the first day of your shadow work journey. This is really exciting because at the end of this journey, you're going to be a new you, a sacred master who has mastered your dark side. You'll find you have improved relationships, greater creativity, manifesting better things like money or health. You'll have enhanced energy and physical health. So, what is shadow work and how do I start it? We know that shadow work is about working with our shadow selves and integrating it in our lives. And because shadow work isn't easy, I've developed a step-by-step -step daily technique to ease you in rather than jump right in, which can be intense and oftentimes traumatic for a lot of people and they give up halfway. This free course will be over a seven days or longer depending on how much work you put into it. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification button and save this playlist so you can come back into it daily where I will explain at the end of this course when you can use it, how to use it, so you're continuing to improve yourself. But before we begin, I want you to have a clear idea about what you want to work on. Perhaps there's a trait about you that you, you have been thinking about. Maybe you're having trouble letting go of the past relationships. Or you're feeling down because you have not manifested that $1 million. Whatever it is, I want you to write it down in the comments. Why? Because you're making a statement to the world. You're declaring it to the universe. This is a step to inner courage and practicing your right to express yourself. The next thing I want you to do is go read in the comments and find five people you can encourage for their bravery. Become a part of our Sacred Masters tribe and put yourself out there. We may each have our own journey, but know that there is a tribe just like you. We got your back. So pause this video and take a moment to do that. And when you're ready, come back on over here and let's get started. Hey, Sacred Masters, I'm Dr. Iwas Yukehi, Certified Shadow Work NLP Manifestation Coach. And today, we are going to begin our first steps into shadow work. What we want to first develop is our awareness of who am I. For so long, we have struggled to find ourselves and our identity through the outside world. Our achievements, material goods, we try to find these answers from this outer world. So what I want you to do today is just a simple inquiry into yourself. Now bear in mind that you don't want to be driving or having a place of distraction. You want to right now find a spot where you can just be alone, just you. And then start by closing your eyes. Notice the darkness all around you. Try to look up. down, all around. Notice you cannot see anything. There is no beginning. There is no end. There is no body and no material world. All there is, is you. Stay in this for a few moments. Are there thoughts that come to you? Where did it come from? And as you allow them to pass, where do they go? Thoughts are merely the ego trying to comfort you. Because when they go, they disappear. They don't belong to you. Your thoughts are not you. You are the sacred master that thoughts come to. You can choose what you accept within your vessel and what you don't. But take a moment to notice how your thoughts are not you.
Now I want you to feel those thoughts go through you. Because you're gonna do something very important right now. You're gonna connect with your subconscious mind. Now the subconscious mind is in charge of reactions and automatic actions. It handles everything your body needs to function properly. I want you to connect with it by being aware of one of its many functions. Breathing. Take a deep breath. Hold it in for four seconds. Now exhale. Take a deep breath. Hold it for four seconds. Now exhale. Keep doing that. Keep your focus on your breath. Now as you're breathing, I want you to be aware of a shadow slowly walking in the darkness ahead of you. You can see this shadow walking around. It's not talking. It's not looking at you. Rather, it is just being, like you. This is your shadow child. To some, it is also the unhealed inner child. This is a part of you repressed over time. It is you. I just want you to watch it. Observe it. Watch what? it is doing. If you cannot visually see it, that's okay. Some people can hear it. Some people can feel it. Whichever way you are, know that your inner child is around you. To just be aware of its presence. Observe it for a moment. Right now, you don't need to do anything but observe. I'm going to count to 10 with each breath, and then you can open your eyes. But for now, keep your focus on giving love to your inner child, and how it is aware of it. playing through the sense of your eyes reflected back into your brain. The real experience is you within, the full you. You become aware of the real you right now. The material world is just a projection. You are not it. You are not your thoughts. And you know it because you experience it. You can keep doing the meditation I've shown you anytime, especially right before you go to bed. This meditation is also good when you identify a shadow side of you and 
don't want to do a confrontation right now. Rather, you are just observing. Observation is very powerful. It prepares you for when you do shadow work. You can observe and understand your shadow child more. Why is it judging people? Why does it feel like a victim? Why is it feeling angry about the actions of another person? By observing without judging, you can approach it later with love in much healthier ways. Tomorrow, for our next module, we're going to start communicating with the shadow child. And as we progress, we can use real shadow work to not only heal our shadow child, but integrate it with us as a whole. For now, go through the rest of your day, or if you're watching this at night, at least 24 hours of just smiling within that your shadow child knows that love is coming. And you secret masters are the source. Namaste. I will see you soon.